Hello everyone, Luke for Smith here and today's review is a Tuesday I'm actually going to be doing a review of Tyler's The Howl I was not able to um, record a vlog as I planned to because it was so busy and it was like so like loud basically everywhere and I don't really have a um, like a lapel mic that I can clip onto myself to like record my um, voice better and I guess I really didn't feel like trying to find a qu quiet place so I basically um, I'm doing this <laughs> I did get some footage but it was like very like minuscule stuff so I'm not g I'm not gonna bother um, putting it in in this video because <coughs> um, I want to get it out quicker um, I show the card as I normally do they, they give you this when you book the um, X screen tickets it's got five haunts um, they upgraded the main um, street um, for the street theatre like they added an outdoor like disco music area as well as I think they added like extra food um, facilities as well so that's quite good um, inside the actual bar and restaurant they moved the um, they moved the main band from the hall where you enter and I actually put like a photo opportunity there and they moved the band into the actual restaurant and it looks like they put up a petition that separates the um, soft play area and the restaurant so it's basically a wall there and then there's a door to go through the um, soft play area and the actual band is in the restaurant um, area now um, so that's changed a bit and I think they they changed like that I think they it looks like they put another petition in there because we couldn't see the toilets you have to go like around the um, end, right around the side to them so yeah it, it did change a little bit the haunts are basically the same as last year they updated the attic um, a little bit but not too much so let us go let's do um um, first one to fifth so toppers twister more or less the same um, as as it was in 2019 obviously 2019 um, the haunts and the um, haunt attractions um, was not able to go on in last year due to the pandemic uh, but toppers twister it felt a little bit shorter than usual and I think I actually know why there was no big squeeze they got rid of the big squeeze i i really do not why i don't think it's because of the um covid uh, because like obviously your, your face being against it um it, mind you it probably is because it's like obviously your face be up against it and it will like spread germs and it's obviously it's like tightly packed um in a big squeeze so it's claustrophobic so you'd be other people you'd be like rubbing if faces in it as they like try and squeeze through and everything so yeah it's probably why however I, I, I miss big squeeze I love big squeezes it's like amazing great invention um, other than that it's more or less the same the ending was different it wasn't like a it didn't seem like a big room there um, but it was a decent a decent haunt red again more or less the same um, however, I don't know if it's is new or not, um, or it might have happened last last year, but I can't remember if it was there last year last year or not. Uh, they had a like a swampy area, a little bit like a uh, Coven Thirteen, but like a shorter one, and it had a um, big squeeze, a, like, like a mini big squeeze that goes up to your waist in it like you're wading through a swamp that was only like a short short thing there um but i believe that to be new however i'm not quite sure because i can't really remember like last time um but they had the big like dog head like or wolf head uh, animatronic there um and the um re werewolf guy was in there and yeah it was a pretty solid solid maze really I, I quite like that one that that's like one of my personal favorites that one is the attic um like a standard haunted house um 
walk through attraction really with scare actors um they re-themed like the first bit as like a hotel um reception area or an old-timey hotel reception area there but the rest of it was kind of more or less the same really um it was a short one as well but it did have like an upstairs area um which made it longer I did enjoy it a little bit better this time though because it did have more um, sort of elements and stuff like more more actors were in there I mean um, so it was pretty good uh, next one is Squealer's Yard um, again exactly the same as it was before last last time we went uh, the longest maze in the um, in the um, in the hell and um, yeah it's basically a um, butchery and they're looking for human subjects to um, carve up and serve the people um, a fun one again another one of my personal favorites um, I can't really fault it really I can't really fault any of the majors because they because they still did a good job um, the next one is the shed or oh, the last one is the shed again more or less same as last time it's like i don't know how else you can like improve these sort of mazes because there's only like five ma mazes there let me just like get get this up this is your um, nvidia experience um yeah you can't really fault them uh, the, sh the shed again was more or less the same uh they had the um they didn't have a um animatronic head that they usually do that pops out the big squeeze which you normally go through through that bit wasn't there i don't know why i suppose because they i suppose because they used it on red so it must be a new element on red the big squeeze in the swampy area though i suppose yeah because it, it it feels better in red than you're going through a swamp obviously you're aiding for it so that is that that is where that big squeeze comes from i was wondering about that um and um yeah uh, there wasn't any new elements on that either they just took that one away to use on red um other than that everything was fine it was like re really enjoyable um because it was a saturday i went um it was rammed like like i said before it was rammed the queues were long um however it was more or less like free flowing queue, queue lines and that so we really didn't mind waiting and there was like a photo of opportunity um, before you go into red so we had our um, pictures taken and stuff um, if you want to see said pictures then go onto Instagram on my Instagram links in the description below I will post the pictures up um, you'll also see pictures of the Sunday which I will I have actually got a vlog for the um, Sunday video I will be making it uh, I'll edit it in together um, tomorrow I'll be doing that this video will be out today tonight um so yeah really enjoyable time we actually went there um from when it opened hell of a long queue to get in hell of a long queue always book well in advance that's, that's all i can say um and like by the time we come out we actually entered there about seven o'clock six thirty seven o'clock no, it must have been six. Yeah, I think it was six that opened. I can't remember. The haunts opened at half past, and we actually left about half past eleven. The the the, the attraction closes at eleven o'clock, and there was so many people there that it basically had to lock the entrance so no one else could could come into the um could come come into the farm, uh, and it was basically filtering people out as they come out of the haunts and basically say, "Right, we are closed. Please go." Um, yeah it was hella um busy there to be fair um that is it for this video i think i said enough um i like i said before really enjoyed it um don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in wednesday's video geo guesser